Welcome back. The last episode was very sappy. So, time for some crap. Let's see some crap design. This unnecessary zigzagged sidewalk. Pretty much obvious here. Like, the thing is, the problem with this is that no one's gonna walk like this. No one is this stupid. They're just gonna walk straight. Every single time. And probably some dumbass thought like, oh my god. This is like so, so next level. It's gonna look good. But no. <sighs> like, the only thing I can imagine is that maybe they had like a tree in the way. And they just wanted to be considerate. But I doubt it. And they could have just ignored this sidewalk. You know, whatever. Anxiety disorders, now only 45 bucks. What is this place? Such a bargain. Yeah, what a bargain. <laughs> Entrance next door. Yeah, that's already pretty annoying. <laughs> I guess this is some kind of a, a therapist office, I suppose. <laughs> I would just assume that it's not a case of broken English, but uh, someone tried to be too brief. <sighs> God damn it! You know, for 45, if you don't have it already. Like, can you get it cheaper than 45? Can you get anxiety disorder cheaper than 45? You can go to a concert without earplugs, uh, pour beer on you, and go into the front row. With all your sh shit in your pockets. And uh, that's it. And try to not get beer on you or uh, get pickpocketed. And vomited on. And try not to go deaf. Um, I don't know. I think like one hour of that is going to be more effective. But apparently some people love it. But if you were... <laughs> just don't take your shit with you, okay? Complex Oral Care, Mac Dental. So, pretty questionable logo, but also Mac Dental. Uh, that's also not doesn't sound very classy in the first place. Uh, I I could uh, very uh, clearly describe what I see on the picture. It seems like two adults are holding hands, while a small adult is. Uh, uh, about to eat the snake. It does look a little inappropriate. <laughs> God damn it. I, I would not risk this. These bathroom stalls. This is actually quite a good design. You go inside. You, you don't even have much leg space in the first place. You go in. You're kind of fucked already. And... <laughs> you also know that you're being observed. You do have a level of privacy. It's kind of like, uh, I don't know, Japanese people watching porn, I suppose. Everything is blurred out a little bit, but you can still see what's going on. <laughs> God damn it. That looks like it was meant to be a shower. And they're just like, yeah, fuck it, let's put a toilet in there. <laughs> yeah. Would you go in there? I guess if you really have to go. There's one advantage of that. If you're not... Uh, shy, there's a very high probability that that is the cleanest toilet in the bathroom. Is this like a personal toilet? I can't tell. I'm just gonna... I'm assuming that this is like a public toilet. Not a personal one, but actually it would make more sense if it was personal. And uh, somehow they replaced the shower. Uh, kind of. It kind of looks like it was meant to be a shower. Whatever. Still, a little odd. The baby in the in this flight safety manual is clearly an adult. <laughs> but maybe they're just uh, very inclusive. What about dwarf people? Hmm? Yeah, they need they need care too, and they're gonna sit in that seat. Also, I have to say, it's pretty good that this girl is not behind the guy because um, this thing might look more inappropriate although I 
The thing is, can you just tell your fucking daughter that, you know, just watch out, you know? Because this is pretty much, you know, if I'm just... I'm just gonna go with safety manual. Okay, let's say that this is a safe thing for the baby. I don't know, I think it would be safer if it was turned around, but I guess they don't really know. Because it seems like, you know, it's gonna stop, and this is gonna flip out. I would tie down the thing in two places. And uh, maybe this is more acceptable, because... If the... if uh, You know, if it crashes this way, then the baby is gonna go into the seat, and maybe there's some padding there. But I think it would be more acceptable, because like if it's like high velocity, I don't think that's a good idea. Because whatever padding uh, the seat is providing over here is probably superior to this. Because now you gonna you might possibly like crack your skull into this uh, seat. Not a good time. Even if it has some padding on it, it it's still not gonna uh, matter too much. If like I, let's just say this bus has a head-on collision with another bus, and you're super fucked. So I think if I'm I don't know, this seems wrong. I think it would be more... Because in the car, you know, you have the baby seats and they are properly tied down. So it's it's facing forward and there's no way you're gonna go that way. But if you're just tie tying it right here, then bam, you're gonna bash in your skull for sure. And so I think the best option is clearly just like face it that way and, and uh, tight, uh, tightly, at least in uh, four locations to the seat. The guy, apparently, uh, is just a badass. He doesn't need uh, jack shit. Uh, the girl is uh, totally fine with this uh, very thin uh, seat belt on, on uh, her ties. Uh, doesn't need uh, anything on the shoulder any, uh, either. Uh, but the most concerning part is, and going for this, for this weird pose, which might be okay. That might be okay. But the most concerning part is that the dude... Not only not wearing a seatbelt, but also pushing down on the head of her daughter. And, uh, yeah, imagine what's gonna happen when something crashes. Not only he's gonna go flying, but also he's gonna, like, push down full strength on uh, the head of her daughter, which is probably not gonna be super pleasant. Maybe even, uh, maybe it's gonna be fine, but it's, it's uh, not great. So, it seems uh, dodgy at best. I would just say, might I just go for like, proper seat belts and everyone just sits properly? Am I being crazy here? <laughs> I know I analyzed this quite a bit, but it does seem very, very wrong. So, this guy's gonna go flying. This baby uh, man is gonna crack his head into this. E even if, no matter where the uh, this thing crashes, because... Best case scenario, it like the the uh, the seat flips, but most likely it's gonna just is just gonna crack his head in, and uh, this uh, girl might even just uh, end up with a broken neck when this guy goes flying. Hopefully, he goes flying upwards so he cannot uh, put a pressure on her head. <laughs> what the fuck? Can anyone correct me on this? Is this the correct way to do it? Treat your daughter. Like you're trying to get a BJ from a stripper uh, while she's protected by a belt. Uh, have your man-child man on the other seat about to crack his skull. And you just don't give a fuck. You don't need seat belt because you're a badass motherfucker. My high school graduating class 2020 shirt. Uh, <laughs> our senior class of 2020. Uh, okay. <laughs> This is actually the perfect shirt, you know, you wear it once, if they force you, if not, you, you, you'll be forced to buy it, because they make one for the entire class, then you fucking burn it, I guess. <laughs> Don't ask with me and burning shit, I didn't burn it, I just, I left it. I used to, well, I had, actually it didn't look terrible, it didn't look terrible, mine didn't look terrible. It was black, with a logo on it. It was okay. The only thing bad was about it that that it kind of promoted the school, 
and I was not okay with it. I was talking about like, yeah, look at me, look at the school I'm from. Like, oh, that's a conversation starter. You want to talk about it? No. Like that. That's the like, if you're wearing a a shirt with a school logo on it, or like a, you're just asking other people kind of to like kind of bring it up. And that's the last thing you fucking want. It's like, oh, you want to talk about school? Uh, how about no? <laughs> Make friends while you're pooping. <laughs> Those are like weird looking uh, toilets and urinals in the first place. And actually this ties into uh, a post I've seen on uh, wholesome memes about... Uh, Telling other people that you love them. And this is a perfect time to do it. Imagine you're just sitting on the toilet. And, <laughs> and you're just telling people who are taking a piss. <laughs> that you love them. <laughs> Holy shit. You would need to be a badass. To take a shit in these situations. <gasps> God damn it. What is this? What's with getting bathroom so wrong? I'm not even... Shy, I guess, but it's still wrong. <laughs> the only way they can step this up is you have uh, unisex bathrooms, like toilets in this case, no urinals at all, just toilets. No, 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 two toilets, only two toilets. Facing each other. Two toilets. And make sure that a lot of people... Make sure it gets a lot of traffic. And... I don't know. If you want to be extra evil... Then let, let people in at the same time. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to help. How can I up this up? I mean, obviously making uh, up this one up. I don't know. This, this is pretty much as, as evil as I can imagine. You can meet new people. You can have a shit time. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we should have like a, a... A reality TV. About people meeting on the toilet. I wouldn't watch it though. <laughs> but I, I, would, I would definitely encourage uh, some people to uh, be part of it for money. Why is this bridge necessary? <laughs> That just makes getting around harder and getting on it is, well, more difficult to, not really relevant to anyone even remotely uh, able to walk around properly. But imagine someone wheelchair or very fat, uh, you might have a, a problem on your hand. <sighs> wow. And that's just annoying. It, it blocks too. Wow. Who thought of that? Like, I would understand the point if this didn't... If this wasn't there. Like, just get, got, get rid of that. And then the bridge kind of makes sense, you know? But I would argue this pool is just so fucking small. That like, do you really need a bridge in the middle of it? Really? Like, if you just get rid of the bridge and you just, like, make the pool bigger. But I suppose the whole point is just to separate the pools. I'm not sure for what purpose. I would just prefer a bigger pool. At this point, I'm pretty sure that, you know, if, if you just add add up the value and uh, the cost, it would probably be cheaper to just one make, make one big pool instead of this crap. Two, two crappy pools. But maybe this is a hotel and uh, they're being stupid. <laughs> The only explanation I can uh, maybe accept is that maybe these pools have different temperatures. I think that would be the only explanation. But uh, it very much looks like that's not the case. And these are not pools to do anything in, which I, I just I just hate. You know, if it's just like a, I don't know, glorified bathtub, it's terrible. You need to be able to swim in it. But it also it needs to be not like overpopulated. That's why I don't really like to go swimming because... You know, just like so many fucking people there, and like, I don't, I don't, I don't care about swimming that much, I suppose. But god damn it, this is a terrible place for anybody. 
unless unless you love big bathtub uh, swimming pools with uh, bridge blocking your uh, vision. Andrews only. Do not enter. <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. I should get this sign for my door. <laughs> well, it's only for me because I'm a rebel. Only rebels can enter. Nobody else. Everyone, everyone who's just like obeys the law. Everyone who just obeys one sign is like, oh, the sign told me not to do that. I'm going to do it. Only rebels can enter my place. Pr pretty much because they wouldn't have key to my place. So I would, they would be breaking in. Pretty much, pretty much rebels at that point. So the sign is not really necessary. <laughs> Only enters. But it's possible that maybe they have their uh, door unlocked or just have some gate that people just walk in all the time. <laughs> They, you sometimes see this, like, you know, entrance, now fuck off. Uh, I, I'm familiar with these signs, but they're usually more uh, blunt and uh, to the point. Anyway, guys, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.